Like I had promised you uh, that uh, I will show you something unique which can be implemented in our farming or in our livestock keeping. I'm standing in one of my properties here in Uganda and uh, it is on a very small, I would say, plot of land. But still, I'm planning to put on projects that are going to be able to help me feed my people, to help me employ some people, and as well as give me some good amount of money compared to other businesses that I would have done here as well as living because if you just leave such a space and you plant uh, the, the the grass and you put it a, uh, you put a compound here yes there are some people who have their money but like had I told you that few people ca in Africa have that potential. Many people are in a low class. Meaning that if they don't work for a daily work, they are not going to get anything. And those people who are in the middle class also, they have issues when it comes to them. So, in today's video, I want to show you something that is unique as well as trigger your mind that if you implement something like this or different to this but still using that information that you have gotten from me then i know it will give you something and you see that you can change your family status as well as your home to make sure that they don't call you over call you asking for money but you can sustain them using the projects that you have put at your farm or at your location so you're going to tour with me and uh, i will show you the various various things so guys keep with me it's going to be a very short vlog but still it's going to be something that is unique I have space at the backyard of my house. I told myself that what can I really put on this space? One of the thoughts that I got was to put rentals. But still again, I thought that these rentals, will they really give me that amount of money that I need per year or Per, per month and I say that those rentals they have a lot of dynamics and uh, even the input capital is not small because if you look at this housing it is not so expensive like if I had built the rentals because no one is going to come to rent <laughs> your your house when it is not finished well and the money that they usually give to these people who have nice rentals it is not the exact money that they will give to someone who is not having those well furnished houses so I thought to myself according to the area of this place and I said no rentals won't work properly for me. What was my next step was to think about livestock and I told myself that uh, if I plan properly I cannot even keep one category of livestock and I said why can't I do cattle here? Meaning why can't I keep the dairy cows here then at the top I keep chicken. And it is what I'm implementing. The dairy cows are soon going to be brought here. And uh, in the nearby future, I'll be showing you some of them. And here on this space, it is a very big space actually, because they will be feeding from those feeding troughs, as you're looking at them there, as well as they will be exercising here. They can even sleep there. There is enough space that uh, it is going to handle my seven a maximum of seven but uh, we shall start with five milking cows and according to the market the area here the market is the milk market is higher than those very very remote areas so i'm going to bring some of my cows here to to cater for that because i have pastures for them and i have created stores for them as i'll be showing you where I'll be keeping my feeds that uh, will be coming directly from my store to here. So meaning, when it comes to nutrition, I don't have any problem to that. So after thinking about that, that uh, I already have my farm, 
that is going to produce the feeds for these animals and as well as maize for the chicken. Then I decided that, oh, what then I can do is to plan properly so that I can do a dual project. I can get milk from here, biogas and everything that comes from a cow, as well as I can get eggs, I can get everything that is also gained from, from the chicken. So, after thinking about that, I said, wow, this is a nice venture that I have to put much emphasis on. This is my cattle shed. This is my cattle shed, and uh, we built it well. Eh? We protected our timber, you can see. Our timber is well protected by PVC pipes. We made sure that we cut the PVC pipe such that it is it is going to protect our poles very well. You can look at them. We also made the floor. We made it very well so that we don't get soggy when it comes here. Because if we, we had left the land bare, huh, my friend, I couldn't even stand here because it rained at night. Uh, but uh, everywhere, even the road is so bad. So this is our simple structure that we constructed for the cattle and up it is where we constructed for chicken you can as well come with me but before we go up i also constructed a worker's house as you can see it here the other room is for feed storage here is where my workers are staying we are draining our water going past the boundary wall that is our uh, our next storage facility that you're looking at there we are making sure that uh, we, 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 we make it when it is a storied one. We can keep them down as well as keeping them up. Are you seeing? So it is also a storage facility. That is my house. Um, you come to the chicken. This space is enough. Huh? We are still making some other constructions, but if everything is cleared here, we shall make sure that we remove so you can come to uh, to the chicken house 